Let us try an example to design a beam subjected to moment and shear. This is a simply supported beam. The span is 1.4 meter. It is laterally restrained. There is a point load at the mid span of 1050 kN. The beam is made of an UB 406 times 178 times 74. The grade is S275. Check the adequacy of the member to sustain the load. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve the questions, first you need to determine the maximum share and moment load. To do so, you need to sketch the share force and bending moment diagram. The share force is obtained as the P divided by 2, which is the highest point of the share force diagram, which is 525 kN. As for the bending moment diagram, the maximum moment load is happening at the mid span as the area of the shear force diagram here. Next, you determine the section property. Search the section property table to get all these sections details. Then determine the U strength. The steel grade is S275. It is found that the thickness of the flank and the web is less than 40 mm. Therefore, according to table 3.1, the U strength will be 275. Substitute FY into these equations, you will get epsilon equals to 0.92. Next, you do section classifications based on table 5.2. Go through the process of classification for the web and the flank. You will find the entire section is considered as class 1. Determine the moment resistance based on the clause 6.2.5. The equation is given here. The moment capacity is found to be 412 kN and it is more than the shear moment load. Therefore, it is considered acceptable. Next, check for the shear resistance in clause 6.2.6. .6. Calculate the shear area. Check against the area of the web. In this case, the shear area is found to be less than the area of the web. Therefore, 4341 is used in the following calculation steps. The shear resistance is given in this equation. Substitute the relevant number into the equation you will get the shear resistance of 689.2 kN. Compare the resistance to the load, you will find that the resistance is actually higher than the load. Therefore, the shear check is considered acceptable. Next, check for shear buckling. The ratio HW per TW has to be less than 75 epsilon eta. The limit is calculated as 55.5 and the ratio of HW per TW is 40.1. The actual ratio is less than the limit, therefore no shear buckling check is required. As the shear load is more than 50% of its shear capacity, that means if the shear is expected to affect the moment resisting capacity.
With that, we need to calculate the reduced moment capacity and check if it is satisfactory. There are two methods for you to calculate the reduced moment capacity. The first one is by using the reduced U strength. The second one is by using the alternative method given by Eurocode. First, we look into the reduced U strength method. You need to find the rho in using these equations and it is found that the rho is equal to 0 0.27. This will reduce the amount of the yield strength by 27%. And now the reduced yield strength is 200.8 Newton per mn square. The reduced moment capacity is calculated as 301.4 kN. It is found to be less than the load capacity. Therefore, it is considered not acceptable. With that, the designer is recommended to increase the size of the section. If you use the alternate method, this equation is applied. First, you determine the area of the web by multiplying the height of the web and the thickness of the web. It is found to be 3617.6 mn square. Calculate the row. Substitute relevant value into these equations you will get the mo reduced moment capacity of 3 at 6.8. The moment capacity is found less to be its original moment capacity. Compare the reduced moment capacity with the load, it is found that the moment resistance is slightly higher than the load. In this case, it is considered acceptable. By comparing the two methods used to determine the reduced moment capacity when the moment and shear happens concurrently on the beam, the reduced FY method is found to be more conservative.